from Shimon Heft. How is the shofar to be blown specifically? And which sounds and how many times each? Everyone is familiar, I imagine, with the the, th the basic concepts of Tekiah, Shavarim, and Teruah. And I will show you here, and this is in Sidur al Sa'adya Gaon on page Resh, Resh Yod Zayn 217. You can actually see, perhaps, I hope you can see. Um, if you can, perhaps you can see a, a graphic depiction of those three sounds. The Tekiah is a long line. And the shavarim is a, uh, a th three separate sounds, blasts. And the teru'ah is one longer, continuous uh, sound which wavers, which, like a siren, goes up and down. Uh, Tukia, everyone, I think, is familiar with. It's a long, one long, relatively long blast of the shofar. The shivarim is roughly the same length but divided into three shorter blasts. The teru'ah, and here this is the important point to, to, uh, to note, it is not as most people are, are used to hearing it. And this is also how I was taught, as I recall, as a child in, in the Jewish school to which I went in uh, Sydney as a, as a boy. This was how it was drawn on the blackboard. The tekiah was a was one long line, just like Rav Sa'adah gone drew it for us also. And the shvarim was three dashes of medium length. And the teru'ah was nine small dashes, separate, nine separate sounds. So it's boom, 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 boom. That's a teru'ah. And that's wonderful, except that it's wrong. Um, very few people know this. In fact, of all the Jewish uh, groups or um, kehilot in the world today, essentially only uh, the Temanim and uh, kehilot Torah I believe, I hope, uh, are familiar with the correct Teru'ah. The Temanim, as with many things, have maintained over the generations, an unbroken, accurate, authentic tradition, how, how this sounds, how it is done, and it is a one long uh, wavering sound. So it's a woo sound like that. And it's roughly the same length as the as the tukiah or the three shivarim together. That is also, that is why Rav Sadegal, when he depicts them, he uses precisely this this you can see, one straight line, three shorter lines, and one long wavy line. Um, that, that is how the sounds are, are supposed to sound, how they're supposed to be, how, the, how, to, how to produce them and how, to, uh, how they should sound. If, if you wish to ask how does one produce such a turu'a sound, uh, there are two ways that I have seen it done. The simple way, I believe, and this is what I do, it may not be the best way, but it's, it's I think, more straightforward, and I'm, it works for me very well. I hold the shofar, as I do with the tekiah, but I slightly move the shofar with my hand, very slightly, as I'm blowing, as, uh, like, as, as, I, as it were, a tekiah, and that movement of the shofar causes that wavy, undulating sound. I have discussed this with uh, a number of, of Temanim, including uh, one person who was an excellent Baal uh, um, <clears throat> Tukiah in the Temani Shul in Yerushalayim, where I used to daven for many years. And uh, he said to me, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the easy way, but uh, the, the real way is not so. He, he tried to explain it to me, and he, he did it this way. He showed, I mean, I saw him do it many times. He somehow produced that wavy sound from his stomach, from, from his lungs. In other words, it was from within him. He didn't move the shofar at all. The shofar didn't budge, but it came out that way. So it's something that he was producing within himself. And I tried. I, I was never successful. 
in, in doing, in reproducing that, uh, that methodology. My methodology, uh, I think, is simpler, and it works. So that's what I do. Uh, what else was, what other question was asked here? Um, how many sounds? How many sounds? Well, this is generally uh, understood and agreed to by all. We do three sets of sounds. Uh, that is to say, tiki'ah, shavarim turu'ah, which ideally, l'chathkhila, should be done, according to a number of rishonim at least, in one breath. Tiki'ah, uh, shavarim turu'ah, tiki'ah, and that is repeated three times. That's one set. And then, tiki'ah, shavarim, Tiki'ah, I'm sorry. Tiki'ah, shivarim, tiki'ah. That's that's another set which is repeated three times. And then tiki'ah, turu'ah, tiki'ah, also three times. So if you count the the shivarim and the uh, turu'ah as uh, two sounds, then it ends up being 30 sounds altogether. That, That is what is what is required.